Hi, I'm Amy Hannon, and nothing thrills me more than people and food. I'm a preacher's wife, a mom of three, and I own my own specialty kitchen store. I've kept an open door and a well-stocked fridge, which means I have fed a lot of mouths over the years. So welcome to my kitchen. This is Cooking Today. Hi, welcome to my kitchen. I'm so glad that you're with me today. Did you know that today is National Zucchini Bread Day? You did not know that, did you? Did you know there was a day that celebrates zucchini bread? Well, I'm all in, I'm celebrating because it's one of my absolute favorite sweet breads to make. It is so, and it's healthy, it's got so much zucchini all grated down in it and it's tender and yummy and y'all, I add a little brown sugar and oats crumble on the top. Tiny bit of butter makes it so good. Every bite has that, kind of that streusely, oaty topping on the top. It's kind of like makes it dessert because you know that's, that's how we do it. We make it extra, extra good. Um, I actually started making this zucchini bread. Y'all know, you've done this. You have gardens, people who grow gardens and they get really um, ambitious and their zucchini plants grow like crazy, crazy, crazy and you end up with those big old sacks full that you just have to pawn off on people. You know how that is around here, Arkansas summers. Well, I got a whole bunch, I mean a whole bunch of zucchini one summer from my friend Courtney and I just could not stand to have it go to waste. So I decided to come up with every recipe in the world I could think of to use it. And I even have a really fun way to store it in the freezer so that you have fresh zucchini anytime that you want. So let me tell you what we've got going on with this. We have three cups of flour and to it I'm adding a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda. Those are our leaveners. You've heard me say that before. That's what will give us a little rise in our cake. A teaspoon of salt, which generally, you know, something like this, we would say like a pinch or a quarter or something. This is so yummy and brown sugary and sweet that you really need that little bit of extra salt to kind of balance, balance it out. It is amazing. You know, I love to get that kind of surprise salty bite in there. And then I'm going to add two teaspoons of cinnamon. And again, that is a little bit heavier than we normally do in our baking, but y'all trust me on this one. It is outstanding. So I'm going to do two teaspoons of cinnamon and cinnamon is so good for you. Ooh, it smells warm and yummy. You know, another nice thing about zucchini bread, y'all, is that yes, you can get garden yummy garden zucchini from your farmer's market or from your friend Courtney or whoever, from your own garden even. But you can get zucchini on your grocery store shelf pretty much year round. Um, and it's really not very expensive. So you can saute it and roast it and put it in like a little, um, like a little gratin dish and do cream and parm and all that kind of stuff on it. Or you can make this bread. And this has got my vote today. So I've added my cinnamon and now I'm just putting a little bit of nutmeg in there as well. Aren't those good warm smells and flavors and I really love it. Okay, I'm gonna grab a whisk and I'm just gonna give this just a little tiny com you know, combination here so that we're nice and combined. And then we're just gonna set this aside. This is my new mixing bowl. Y'all know I really love and believe in having some great bowls. We've talked about that. This is my new batter bowl. I love a batter bowl. You know what the difference in a batter bowl and a regular bowl is a batter bowl has a handle and a pour spout, which makes it really easy. If this were liquid and we were needing to, you know, pour something in, then this makes it super duper easy to pour. And what's really great about this, even with our dry ingredients, you know, not liquid, is when it comes time and we need to pour our dry into our mixer, this really gives us an easy access, easy way to hold on, easy way to pour. So this is a beauty. This is at Unimaze. We love this brand, English, pretty English mixing bowl. Okay, so we've got that set aside. That's our dry. And then what we want to do is grate 
the zucchini. And all I have here are two just regular old green, you know, green zucchini. And I've cut those hard ends off. And then I have my box grater. Now this is just the way that I like to do it. You could probably also do this in um, a food processor if you wanted to. Um, I know a lot of people have like spiralizers and some of those neat gadgets that probably would grate this down if you wanted to. I'm an old school girl. I'm a box grater and a sheet pan kind of girl. And so that's all I have is a box grater and my little sheet pan. And the reason I choose a sheet pan, because it has the rim on it, and there's going to be some liquid that comes out of this zucchini, and we want the liquid. It's sweet. It's just really surprisingly sweet. And I also feel like zucchini has that little bit of that fresh flavor, and it's somehow a little bit buttery, I think, and so delicious. You could also do this if you wanted. You could do this with yellow squash, or you could do a little mix. You could do green and a little yellow if you wanted. I love the green. These green bites in this bread are beautiful. You know how we love to garnish with green at the end of a pasta or something? Kind of has that pretty look. So I'm gonna keep grating this zucchini. We're gonna do both pieces and when we come back, we're gonna mix up our batter. This is Cooking Today. Cooking Today, sponsored by West Rock Coffee Company. Hi, welcome back. Today we're making zucchini bread with this delicious crumbly oat topping that goes on there with some brown sugar and some butter and some really, really good stuff. So what we've got going is we've already mixed our dry ingredients in our batter bowl with a handle and a pour spout because it makes it easy for us to add it into our wet ingredients. And so we have our um, flour and some baking soda and powder and salt and all that kind of stuff, some cinnamon and nutmeg in this bowl and we've got it whisked and set aside. And I've grated both of our um, long zucchinis that I cut the ends off. Now you can, pr you can officially measure two cups. Um, I have just learned over the time making this recipe that usually two zucchini, like pretty classic size zucchini, it's two cups. So I'm really not even gonna probably measure it. Plus, you know, you can kind of learn how to eyeball things. And that is not gonna be a make or break um, ingredient if you're off just a tiny bit or have a little tiny bit less um, it's not gonna it's not gonna kill your batter so what we're gonna do is mix our other ingredients together in our mixer so I had um, two and a quarter cups of white sugar a cup of regular old canola oil we're gonna do lots of vanilla in our batter Y'all know I love vanilla. We're gonna do three teaspoons. Whoop, that was in a little. There we go. That's probably three hearty teaspoons in there. And then I have three room temperature eggs. And you know, I've told you, we always cook with room temperature ingredients so that everything incorporates a little bit better. Just makes your batter a little smoother, incorporates a little easier. And that's what I've got here, just large brown. And then we're gonna whisk this up. We have our oven set on 325, which is a little low, but we're gonna kinda bake this low and slow for almost an hour. And this is, oh, and let me tell you, this makes two loaves, so you can make one and share one. You know I love to share food. And so you can make one and share one. You can make one and freeze one. Or you can just eat them all. You can eat all the bites. This is great if you have company coming for the weekend because you can kind of nibble on it all through the weekend and you may end up finding out that you eat every single bit of it for breakfast on your Saturday morning. It's delicious, y'all. It's so moist. And I'll just tell you so that you can tell your children or your, hus your picky husband, you cannot taste zucchini in this whatsoever. It adds some fantastic color and it just makes things very, very tender and very sweet. And so you really don't have to, it doesn't taste like vegetables. <laughs> this is a great way to sneak in a vegetable, right? Among all this brown sugar and cinnamon and flour. Okay, so I've just combined this for just a minute, just till it's mixed pretty well. 
and then with my mixer on low, I'm just gonna mix in about, just kind of slowly mix in about half of the dry ingredients. Oh, I've stirred up that cinnamon smell. So delicious, y'all. Okay, and that's mixed in pretty well. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more, about a third. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put in the last little bit. See how handy it was to have that pour spout and that handle? Ooh, and it changed. We've talked about that before, the sound of our mixer. And we don't wanna just go crazy on this. We really wanna just mix it until it's combined. Oh, that looks so good. Now, like I said, you can measure this, but I'm pretty sure that I've got about two cups here, and this is all going in. Juice and all. Oh my word. It is so good. Like I don't squeeze it. You know how sometimes when you cook with maybe spinach or something else, you want to kind of squeeze out the liquid? Don't squeeze out the liquid in that. It was nice and heavy and wet, kind of wet and heavy. And that's what we want. We want that to go right in. Okay. And I'm going to start a little low. You know, that's how you always use your mixer. You start a little low, make sure things get nice and incorporated, and then you can turn your speed up a little bit. So I'm going to go on up. It's so delicious. We are going to let this beat for just a minute, and then by hand, we're going to stir in our walnuts. Walnuts are 150,000% optional. You, you're not going to miss a thing if you choose not to put them in. But we love them. And walnuts, you know, we don't eat walnuts very often, and they're a superfood, y'all. They're good for you. And so we are going to stir these walnuts in by hand. And you know how I feel about my mixer. You really need to get in and kind of get down and underneath in there because there's usually that little notch that's under the bottom. And so sometimes your, your, your beater or your whisk doesn't really get down and into there. And so we want to get down and in. I'm going to use my batter. Yep, see how it's kind of needing to be incorporated. So I'm going to get down in here, get this mixed really, really well, stir in my one cup of walnuts, and then divide it among my prepared loaf pans and stick it in the oven. We're going to make our topping when we get back. This is cooking today. Ice tea, sponsored by Lipton. Hi, welcome back. We have our beautiful loaves of zucchini quick bread that are in the oven right now. We just greased our two, I just used a metal loaf pan. I love my nonstick Nordic ware. They are beautiful and they pop that bread out with no trouble whatsoever. And you know, that's the grief that a lot of us experience sometimes when we are baking bread and things that have to turn out. And that Nordic ware stuff is good stuff. I love it. So we have our loaves of bread baking at 325. We've already had them in there close to 15 minutes and we're gonna get a beep in a minute to tell us when they're done. And we're gonna pull them out and we're gonna put our topping on the top. So let's make our topping. This is so easy and good. And you probably have almost all of these ingredients already in your house. So we're gonna start with a half a cup of flour. And then a half a cup of oats. And it just gives that good kind of nutty, nuttiness on the top. And y'all, it's just so pretty. I'm gonna kind of do a heap, a heaping. I just love the way those oats look on top of a quick bread like this. It's so earthy and good. And this is just one more way that this bread is a good, healthy choice. It has sugar in it, but some of the other stuff in it is just so good. Just nice and all natural. And then I've got brown sugar, and you know, you wanna pack your brown sugar. So we have half a cup of each of those, flour, brown sugar, and oats. And then I am going to, I have a little hand blender like this, you know, these little, like a pastry blender. You could also use forks. There's our beeper. We know that it's time to take our bread out. Now I'll tell you, the bread is not gonna burn right now, so we're gonna finish making our topping. It's just baking. 
and we still have 45 minutes left. So we'll go ahead and finish our crumb topping and then we'll pull that out in just one second. Okay, so I've kind of combined those dry ingredients there. Then we're gonna do just a pinch of salt and a little bit of cinnamon. You can get the full recipe on our website. And you can also see the recipe as well did you know that you can see them on our YouTube page and on the NWA homepage um, website? They're both, if you pop open those, um, you know, the body of the videos, the episodes online, the, the recipes are right there with them. So it's super handy. You can kind of read the recipe and watch at the same time. So that's kind of nice, huh? Okay, so I've combined those little dry ingredients. And then lastly, we're going to put in four tablespoons of really soft butter. Now this, this, and this is unsalted since we added salt. If we only had salted butter to use, then I probably would not have put the salt in or I would have cut back on it, you know, quite a bit. So we're just going to take our cutter and kind of cut this in. And again, if you're great with two forks like our grandmothers were, then you can do this with two forks. But I just use my pastry blender, and you know, you occasionally have to shake out the glops that get stuck in your mixer, and your blender. I can smell that bread y'all starting to brown. Oh my goodness. It's so good. Do you know what else I love to do with quick breads? This is a good one. Anytime you have a little bit left over and you just kind of have munched on it, if, if you, you know, just are kind of tired of eating it the way that, you know, you just slice it and eat it, you could do a little dredge of that in eggs and vanilla and cream and do it in a skillet like French toast. Wouldn't this be fantastic, the zucchini bread, like French toast? Can you even imagine how rich and delicious? We're going to have to do that one day. Mm. Okay, I've given this a pretty good mash. It's combined really well. You really do want the, the butter to be spread through there pretty well. And I think that we are good to go on that. So what we're doing, the reason that we had our timer go off on our bread, our bread is not done. We wanted to let it kind of get set for just a few minutes. So we did it about 15 minutes, probably 18 minutes now. And we want it to be just baked enough that it's just set. And we're going to pull it out and we're going to put this crumb right on top. So let me pull these out and you'll be able to see kind of what they look like when they come out of the oven. And I also, this is another little tip that I do, especially when I make mul bake multiple things, is I bake them on a sheet pan. So I put my metal pans on a sheet pan. It just makes it really, really easy to move in and out of the oven just on a sheet pan rather than doing one and then doing another. Okay, so here they are. They have just started to not be quite wet and doughy looking. And so I'm just going to use my fingers and kind of combine that just a little bit more. I saw some dry spots in the very bottom. And I'm going to just pour this right on top. I'm just going to divide the batter, the dough, right on top. This little crumb is so yummy. Those oats are pretty, y'all. They brown up so nice when they're, when they're baked. And I'm just going to eyeball. And I just eyeballed when I divided my batter into these two pans. I eyeballed those two. You don't have to measure and get too worried about it. And so this is just a really pretty little rustic topping. I'm just using my fingers to spread it around a little. We're going to put them back in the oven at 325 for 45 minutes or so and let them finish up. That's going to get yummy and brown and crumbly on top. And when we come back, I'm going to show you a really fun way to wrap this as a fun little gift to give if you decide to share one. This is Cooking Today. Hi, welcome back. We are celebrating National Zucchini Bread Day and it smells fantastic in here. Butter and brown sugar and cinnamon and this sweet zucchini that's so moist and makes this, this bread so pretty on the inside. Look how pretty our brown sugar crumble baked up. That little bit of oat that makes it so nice and like earthy and pretty and hearty and oh uh, y'all it's so good. Remember I said it makes two loaves so we have one loaf here and we have another one here that I just wrapped in parchment paper because I really love 
to make one and serve one or make one and share one. It's just what we do and it's just, you've always got somebody that you can serve or love on with food. A new neighbor or somebody who just had a baby or somebody who's just had a hard time, food is love. And so this is a really great recipe to be able to share. So all I did on this one actually is take a regular sheet of parchment paper. We'll pretend like we're doing this one right here. And then really you can just fold these pieces up and you almost wrap it like a present. I just made this little seam and folded it over and then you would just tuck your corners just like you would a Christmas gift. And then I chose to go ahead and wrap it in just craft twine. And then two things that are really fun, you could either clip a neat little tag to the top, or if you wanted to actually give a little gift, you could slide a Unimaze double handle wooden spoon, measuring spoon right in the top for the neatest little present and really great, great zucchini bread inside. This is Cooking Today. Cooking Today, sponsored by West Rock Coffee Company. Kitchenware is provided by Una Mays. Groceries provided by Harps, hometown fresh.